Hello, so uh, this is an explanation video after Train Triangle, I think it was, uh, asked me that I explain how the graph works. So we can start here. So when making this graph, I wanted to make it easy to be able to write in the, all the music notes. So to make it fast and efficient. So originally I had like uh, this, kind of like this, um, and then, you know, like that, but these are slow to type in, and, I, and there's like another one right underneath, and it could get confusing really, really fast. So instead, I chose to use, uh, here, the table. Yeah, so this is the note value, so when I type something here, it will uh, show up the note, so high, how high or low it is, and those values are like G, but the G flat, that's A sharp. Those are all predetermined values right here. So if I type in that flat, then uh, it'll come out as one. Now, so that here I have like a bunch of rows of all the notes. And so, yeah, so that's basically how I typed things in. Okay, now how did the, so this is like the really, the, the part which makes it works. So here you see I have a note, the length, and the octave. Okay, so when the octave is zero, that means I don't have the additional octave. When it's one, it means I put the octave above. Now what does this do? So let's take, for example, y is equal to five. And we listen to it. See right here, you can hear it adds an octave note above. Right here, you see, you can hear it. Um, now, yeah, so that's basically what it does. So right here, this octave note one, if this says that if octave one is equal to zero, then set octave note one to one. And if octave one is equal to one, and set octave note 1 to the minus 1. So this goes right here and multiplies x. So what is this thing right here? This thing all the way up until here. So let's go back to our example here. Um, so this is kind of how it looks like. So here if I put minus 2, and here I put 3, and then here I put 5. So it says let y equal 5 from when x so x right here equal, uh, goes from minus 2 all the way to 3. So if you put x is equal to minus 2, it'll just spit out 5. Uh, so this is basically what it is. It's basically the same thing. So right here, this octave note, if it's a negative number, basically these signs right here will flip. And then, so we can show an example of that. So that puts 1, so this becomes a minus 1, and right here, it's a minus 1. So then, uh, we get this extra little bit right there. Um, and then, so yeah, this is note. Now I messed up here a little bit, so that's why I have minus 2, uh, but normally that isn't there. So yeah, that's note. Um, and then, here we have, um, no, right here. So minus four is the, uh, like how many beats are in a measure. And 240 is just, I don't know why, but it's a number that works. Uh, I think it has to do with the fact that it takes exactly five seconds. I remember I calculated from the fact that it takes five seconds for it, for the, the audio trace to go from here all the way to there. It takes exactly five seconds. Um, and then here, we just divide it by the tempo and length. Uh, when you divide a number by a bigger number, that number becomes smaller. So that's why it's underneath. The, the bigger this number here, so like this is a half note, and it only divides by two. But here, it's an eighth note, so it divides by eight. And so the thing is even shorter. And the tempo is similar. Uh, you can adjust the tempo right here. So yeah, 
that is uh, basically how I did it. Now, there is this uh, one annoying bug, which we can take a look here. So, this is uh, in Audacity, what we can see, and this is the recording of one of the parts. This is the space between each of the notes. So you can see here, this space is different than this one, which is different length than this one. So it's really annoying because uh, when combining all the parts together, you have different note lengths. And so you have to match everything up and synchronize everything. So right now on screen is uh, a, time, a time lapse of me uh, doing that in Audacity. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, uh, that was the annoying part, and then I just recorded everything, edited it in DaVinci Resolve. That's why, uh, in some cases you can see that the audio doesn't quite match up with the video. But yeah, so that's basically how it works. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, a couple channel announcements. So, as for schedule, like, upload schedule, I just started. I'm thinking of doing uh, one video per month on the first Wednesday of every month, hopefully. Uh, next video will be me turning this graph into a game uh, for Guitar Gear. Something similar to like that. And it's actually a collab with another guy, but you'll, 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 you'll see, you'll see. Um, and then uh, after that, I think I'm going to do a video about user scripts which is a bit more complicated, but you'll, you'll see. It'll, it'll come out in, what, two months? So it'll be a pretty fun video to do. Anyway, hope, uh, hope you stayed around for this long rant. Uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe, you know, usual. And uh, yeah, have a good day. See you.